Work is supposed to be exciting. Bosses are supposed to be encouraging. Colleagues are supposed to be supportive. When things at work aren't going the way we think they're supposed to, it can be hard to muster up the energy and enthusiasm to give our best. We might spend our time checking Facebook at our desk more than we actually work. It's not that we're not capable, we're just bored. Or we feel like there's no point working harder because no one notices anyway. But our attitude at work reflects our successes in life. For example, we might think that we're actually pretty awesome at our life outside of work. But if we cannot even psych ourselves up to give 100% at work when we're feeling uninspired, then how do we conduct our relationships when we face challenges and difficulties? We may put our work and our relationships in different boxes. And although they are definitely not the same thing, it is our skills in overcoming stress boredom, frustration, and anxiety that overlaps. We're creatures of habit. If we're used to giving up and thinking negatively when it comes to challenges at work, then it'll be incredibly difficult to figure out solutions to our personal problems because both situations, different as they are, use the same mind. If you think about it, we spend more time at work than out of work. So if we're not developing the muscles to lift ourselves up at work, if we're not used to practicing to give our best, then how can we expect to suddenly be able to do that in our relationships? We always think we can because relationships are more important. But it's not about what matters more to us because even when we care a lot, we might still not have the skills to turn a negative situation around. Exercising the mind is like exercising the body. If we only do it once in a while, it's going to be difficult to perform well when it matters the most. Learn to give your best at whatever you do and those skills will help you succeed in every aspect of life and to be happy always